Hi, Saints. I am asking for prayer for one of our beloved brother's stepchildren. We're not going to say his name. He's a teenager. We know that everything when you're a teenager is huge. Uh, your first heartbreak feels like it's never going to end. And all your feelings feel like they're permanent. Now, this is perfect breeding ground for a believing child, for a Christian kid, for the enemy to attack. And this little brother is being attacked with suicidal spirits. This is happening a lot. A lot of teens are committing suicide or supporting suicide or promoting it in others. We had that one girl that went to jail for doing that. There's just no love uh, in so many of them. This is not the case with this little brother. We need to pray against what's coming against him. The reason I say this is absolutely a spiritual thing is because this little brother is hearing voices that are telling him to do this. Um, I'm going to speak to him in a moment, but I'm asking that all of you save believers pray for this little brother. Lift him up. God knows who he is. God knows who he is. Um, they have put him in inpatient. He has gone willingly for his own protection. Um, so I wanted to be clear to say he's not crazy. He is under demonic attack and oppression. This is what I believe. I was a victim of that. You can see the slits and the st old stitches up both wrists there. Um, oh, you can actually even see the stitches in this one where they sewed it up. Now, this is the voice I heard. I know it seems like you're hurting your family, but you'll be really doing them a favor because you are a burden on them now. Once you're gone, they'll be sad for a while, but oh, they'll be relieved you're gone. That's what I heard, and I believed it. And a sense of peace came over me when I made the decision to do it. Because I was, what I realize now is that I was being tormented until I did it. And I didn't know how to fight it. I thought the voices were, were my own. I, I thought it was me. And this is the deception of the enemy. He will come and plant thoughts in your head. As in the first person tense, as if, like, I'm talking to myself and go, I am this, and I am that. And they'll talk to you as if it's you speaking to yourself. Um, now, I don't know how these spirits, these voices, our little brother is hearing, how they are uh, manifesting. If it's accusations, if it's hopelessness, or condemnation, or all of it. Uh, but we know that when, when a child is this hopeless, there's something going on. Uh, but this, when I talk to his father, it's absolutely spiritual in nature. So, uh, I'm going to talk to him right now. Uh, little brother, I understand. I have been there, literally. Uh, these voices you're hearing, they are not necessarily your own. I believe they are of a demonic origin. Because you're saved, because I'm sure your stepdad has given you the gospel, and you've trusted in that. I think it would be good for you to maybe read the book, The Case for Christ. It'll really strengthen your faith and appeal to the analytical side of your mind, written by an atheist that went to, went on to uh, try to disprove Jesus and his resurrection, but the evidence was so phenomenal that he actually became a believer and converted, and it actually... Uh, will strengthen your faith. Now, that is one thing I suggest you do. Get your mind off of you and strengthen your faith. Secondly, know what you're dealing with. Know what you're dealing with. You are dealing with evil spirits that, because you're saved, are trying to oppress you and get you to take your own life because God has plans for your life. He's already preordained you. He's predestined you uh, to a purpose. And this enemy knows it. 
See, the enemy likes to attack those with a bright light because he wants to snuff it out. And so he's going to lie to you. And just like any predator, he attacks when we're weakest. So if our heart hurts or if our feelings are hurt or if we broke up with someone or somebody recently died or if we're sick uh, or if something bad has happened, they will always attack then. Just like any predator would. The Bible talks about the devil goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And that goes for his entire kingdom of darkness. They may often come as angels of light to tell you something different, new age or witchcraft or something. It's not wrong. We're not doing black magic, you know, to try to uh, tell you that it's good. Uh, so these things are talking to you and they're liars. And don't argue with them. You know, if they accuse you, or I don't know what they're saying to you. But all you need to say is, I plead the blood of Jesus on me right now, and the Lord rebuke you. If they give you any kind of fear, God doesn't give it me, give me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and most of all, sound mind. See, we need to believe what God says about us. And I'm so, so sorry you're going through this, man. I, I'm really sorry you're going through this. But I will tell you that whatever you're feeling, it is not permanent. It is not permanent. You'll get through that. It, there, there's, there's no way that this will remain. You're going to get over this difficult time you're having. I'm really concerned that you're hearing the voices. Uh, I hear a lot of kids shooting up schools. I'm not saying you're doing that. Uh, killing their parents, like doing crazy stuff. These are unsaved kids. And then the devil literally possesses them and torments them until they do these things and justifies these things. Um, but luckily you're a saved kid and all they can do is whisper lies to you. And, uh, I really want you to just do what I told you, plead the blood of Jesus over you and say, the Lord rebuke you. When any thought that, that comes against the righteousness of God in Christ, when any thought comes in, that's not of God's love for you. That's not about your security. I want you to take it captive and throw it out. You just say, the Lord rebuke you. I say it over and over again until they're gone and ignore them. Don't argue with the voices. No, I'm not. No, that's not true. Don't even argue with it. The Lord rebuke you. They're liars. And um, I wish I had more information about what they're saying to you so I could know which spirits are doing this to you. But it really is supernatural. And, uh, you know, we all have stuff in our own flesh that isn't good. And we tell ourselves things that aren't good. That happens too. But remember, it, we, we should renew our minds. you got to take those thoughts captive. There's something that God has for you to do. He's got plans for your life. He wants to prosper you and to use you and for you to be victorious. So, I, you know, if I can help, if I can get more information at some point, I'd be happy to tell you, you know, what I know. But for now, we're just going to pray for you. We're just going to keep lifting you up to the throne of grace. And the main thing I want you to remember is that God loves you. Your family loves you. We love you. And we want you here. God's not done with you yet. Please don't believe the lies that, that the enemy is telling you. Please hang in there and know that whatever you're feeling, it will pass. It is not going to be forever, although it feels like it. All of us here on this channel are going to be praying for you. Okay? God bless you, honey.